This video will show you how to divide polynomials. Now this is just a little quickie review right here. This is a polynomial divided by a monomial. If you have a polynomial divided by a monomial, the setup is very simple. All you have to do is take each of the terms of the polynomial and put them over the monomial and create separate fractions. Creating these separate fractions allows you to just use your exponent laws and do basic canceling. Three cancels with three, x cubed over x, use your exponent law, keep the base, subtract the exponents, and get x squared. Over here, 6 divided by 3 is 2, x squared over x to the first, keep the base, subtract the exponents. Here the x's cancel, 9 divided by 3 is 3. That's your process for a polynomial divided by a monomial. That really is just a review of your exponent laws. That's not what this video is going to cover. This video is going to be on what's called polynomial long division. You have to use polynomial long division when you are dividing by a binomial or maybe a trinomial. Before we get into the long division setup with the polynomials, let's go back and review plain old long division from your grade school days. When you divided this out, you probably didn't know back in the fifth grade how many times 28 went into 60. But what you might have done is a little bit of estimating in terms of maybe round 28 to 30 and think about how many times does 3 go into 6. All you were thinking about was one term. So I'm going to do that same kind of thinking here. 3 goes into 6 twice. That was a place for me to start. 2 times 28 is 56. Subtract. Get a 4. Bring down your next term, which is 5, and begin again. 28 goes into 45 one time. 1 times 28 is 28. Subtract and get 17. Now, at one point, you just called it the remainder 17, but then a little bit later, you started taking the remainder and writing it up here as a fraction over what you divided by. What we did here is we started with dividing, then we came back and we multiplied, then we subtracted, and then we brought down, and then you could think about that B standing for begin again. So that's what we're going to do on this polynomial setup. So the first thing is to get it set up actually like a long division problem. The reason I said this business about, you know, you really didn't think about 28 into 60, you thought about rounding that so that you could think of just 3 into 6, is I wanted to emphasize the fact that even though this looks complicated and you are dividing by x minus 2, just make it easy on yourself and just look at the first term with the first term. That's all you want to look at. And go over to the side, go to your margin or something, and just write down 5x cubed divided by x. That's just like that monomial stuff we did on the first screen. 5x cubed divided by x, that's your exponent laws. Subtract, and we're going to get 5x squared. We're going to put this over here, just like you did when you were dividing the plain old numbers. Now here's what you have to be careful of. On the multiplying step, it's not just 5x squared times x. It's 5x squared times the entire divisor, the entire divisor. So 5x squared times x is 5x cubed minus 10x squared. When we were using plain old numbers, we're getting ready to subtract. When you subtracted back then, you were always subtracting a smaller from a larger, and you are always subtracting positive numbers. That's not going to be the case here. So what I teach on this is draw the line, change the signs. That's what you're going to do for the subtraction idea. And the reason we're going to change the signs is think when you first learned how to do something simple like 8 minus 10. You might have been taught to change this to plus a negative. So that's all I've done. I've changed the subtraction idea to plus a negative, which is changing the signs. Notice something here, 5x cubed, negative 5x cubed. These things better cancel out or you've done something wrong. This first part goes away, we just have this arithmetic right here. Negative 13x squared and 10x squared is negative 3x squared. The next thing we want to do is bring down one more term. And then we begin again. We want to look at the first thing into the first thing. So go over to your margin and just write down negative 3x squared over x. Use your exponent laws and we're going to get negative 3x. Come back and multiply the negative 3x times the whole divisor. Negative 3x times x is negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times negative 2 is positive 6x. Then we're going to 
draw the line, change the signs, plural, you're changing all of those signs. Look here, negative 3x squared, positive 3x squared, cancels out, and all you have to do is 10x minus 6x is 4x, bring down the next term, which is a negative 8, and then begin again. 4x divided by x, the x's cancel, I just get a plain old 4. Multiply the 4 times the entire divisor, which is 4x minus 8. Let's draw the line, change the signs. For negative 4x and positive 4x cancel, negative 8 and 8 cancel. And in this case, we have no remainder. Sometimes with these polynomials, we do have a remainder. This time, we don't. Now, notice your answer. Your answer comes out in descending order of exponents. That's just a little thing you can look at to check to be sure you did all this little margin arithmetic correctly. The other thing you can do to check, which I'm not going to take the time to do, is you can go back and multiply. 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. You can come back and multiply that times x minus 2 because multiplication is the opposite of division. If you multiply all this out, you will get this polynomial. So you can stop the video and do that checking on your own if you want. Take a look at another one. Here's the original setup. This is the way it's set up in most books. It's set up like in a horizontal fashion. So the first thing you want to do is rewrite it in your regular long division setup and begin your division. You're looking at the first, into the first, come over to the margin, and write 3x cubed over x. Now, do you have to do this? No. Some of you are going to be fine with, in your head, 3x cubed divided by x. Over here, the 3 is going to come down, x cubed over x to the first, keep the base, subtract the exponent, gives me 3x squared. So that's my first term right here. Come back and multiply it times the entire divisor. Gives me 3x cubed plus 6x squared. Then you want to draw the line and change these signs. That's your subtraction step. Your 3x cubed and your negative 3x cubed cancel, which is what they're supposed to. Negative 2x squared, negative 6x squared is negative 8x squared. And we are ready to bring down the next term, which is a positive 6x. And we are ready to begin again. The first term into the first term. This is negative 8x squared over x which when you use your exponent law will give you negative 8x. Notice how the exponents are coming down. This was x squared. My next term had to be a plain old x or x to the first. Come back and multiply. Negative 8x squared minus 16x. We're going to draw the line. Change these signs. So negative 8x squared, 8x squared cancels out. 6x, 16x is 22x bring down that last term of minus 4, and begin again. So it's 22x divided by x. It's just going to give me a plain old 22 right here. Multiply 22 times the whole thing is 22x plus 44. Draw the line. Change the signs. The 22x is canceled, but this time negative 4, negative 44 gives me a remainder of negative 48. But we don't leave it as remainder negative 48. We do like you did with the fraction with numbers. Bring up the negative 48 over your divisor, which was x plus 2. Now, I know the process is complicated, but if you do enough practice on this, you'll be fine. And usually what happens with students is once they get the process, the only place they go wrong is with silly arithmetic with their signs. And a common mistake is not changing both of those signs. So you might want to stop the video and redo this problem for practice before we go to the next one. We will do more of these division problems in the next video, Polynomial Division Part 2.